السلام علیکم آئی ایم طیبا اینڈ یو آر واچنگ یور اون چینل آڈیو ویژل بکس آ گلوبل موومنٹ ٹوڈیز اوپینین بائی زاہد حسین آئی ایم ہیئر لیٹس سی دس اوپینین ان ڈیلی ڈان آئی کین بریتھ گوز بیونڈ saying that you are depriving me of freedom of humanity of respect it says you are depriving me of the right of the air it says you are depriving me of the right to air itself benokri the last words of george freud who suffocated to death at the hands of a policeman in minneapolis has galvanized the struggle against all kinds of injustices across the globe a black man brutalized and killed by a white policeman has triggered violent protests in america in the past but the fury witnessed in the latest case of visible racism has much wider political implications such outrage over the death of an unarmed person by a militarized police force has not been seen for a long time. There have been massive and sustained protests across America moving black and white people alike against racism and injustice. The movement has now spread to other countries. Hundreds of thousands of people sharing their fear of the deadly coronavirus joined the protests not only in European capital but also in other countries. The wave of protests across the world is uh, part of our democratic struggle to defend human rights. The horrific incident has become a catalyst for change. I can't wait. As a new, has now a wider connotation that is uh, stifling the right to live and free expression. It is uncanny connection with the condition linked to the coronavirus has made the uh, phrase of a more powerful expression, one that defines oppression and deprivation of the uh, basic human and democratic uh, rights. It has now become a worldwide outcry against authority, uh, against author- authoritarianism and ethnic and cultural discrimination. Black Lives Matter may be a railing uh, cry but the protesters have also been moved by other manifestations by other manifestations of the violation of the of, uh, violation of the human and democratic uh, rights and growing inequalities it has also been a reaction to the rise of white uh, su- uh, supreme uh, supremacist uh, power in america under the trump administration that has seen and growing incidents of violence not only targeting blacks but also political opponents. Presidential, uh, President Donald Trump's policy of, uh, US versus, uh, of us versus them uh, has polarized America for more than at uh, any other time in the country's history. His, uh, his statements calling uh, for the uh, use of protests has fueled anger. It has now gone beyond the demand for police reform. It has become a struggle against racism and inequalities so deeply entrenched in the American society. COVID-19 that has uh, taken a much larger uh, toll among black and minority ethnic and group in America has further exposed the economic and social inequality in the world's richest and the most powerful country. Indeed, white supremacist ideology is the basic of Trump's power. Indeed, white supremacist ideology is the basis of Trump's power. But the growing racial divide has also exposed America to the criticism of having double standards. Not surprisingly, the global protests against the murder of uh, Floyd have in- ignited for a- against Trump's America. Most uh, protests have uh, been uh, have taken place in front of American uh, embassies around the world as a uh, pent of anger has exploded against the current uh, U.S. administration. 
as it reflects the broader global despair about Trump's America and what it means for the rest of the world and its own struggle for human rights. Uh, as one analyst point out, the killing of an unarmed black man is a reflection on race, values, leadership and common decency in the US. Floyd's death is renounced as a death from discrimination. The incident may have put the US on the defensive, but it has had little effort on uh, Trump, uh, who has vowed to crush and, and the, crush the protests. His, uh, his fascistic uh, politics uh, represents the most uh, serious threat to all those values that America claims uh, uh, to have stood for. It, however, remains to be seen how the growing anger in America over, this policies, over his policies will affect uh, his bid for a second term in with just a few months left for the presidential poll. The global protest is a reaction not only to racism in the US, but also to rise of ultranationalism in part of the world where many espouse a hate-based politics and that dehumanizes segments of the population. Such fascist uh, politics justifies inhuman treatment and, um, and the marginalization of minority religious and ethnic groups, including repression of freedom, mass imprisonment and expulsions. And these ultranationalists leading with their uh, rabid ideology justify their actions by creating a mythical past. They promote anti-intellectualism and detect anyone uh, challenging and their retrogressive and uh, their retrogressive and oppressive ideology that aims uh, uh, to divide the population on the basis of us and them. Donald Trump may be the Jews, uh, may be the most important uh, proponent of the ideology, but there are many others of uh, his ilk who threaten liberal democratic values. People want to live in a society where they enjoy freedom of the thought and action. Unfortunately, in the past few years, uh, majoritarianism, uh, which seeks to assert uh, racist political and cultural hegemony, has uh, uh, reared its ugly face. Punitive actions against minority groups are uh, a means of uh, are a mean of uh, uh, suppressing pluralism in the society and Im imposing a, a, a particular narrative. More worrisome, however, is that is even under a democratically elected government, there is a now a move, a move to stifle freedom of uh, expression and plurality of views. The rise of right wing populism, populism has un, uh, undermined uh, basic freedoms in multiple countries. The latest wave of global protest against racism is a part of a democratic struggle defending human rights. The phrase I can't breathe has now become a powerful expression in the global battle against racism, oppression and the attempt to uh, suppress freedom of expression. As Nigerian written uh, Ben Okri, uh, writer uh, noted, this phase should become the mantra of oppression. And these last words of a man being suffocated to death have now uh, become a powerful tool of resistance. These three words go beyond saying and that one is deprived of the uh, deprived of the uh, freedom uh, to live the massive protests in america and the rest of the world and uh, not seen for decades have not given a, a new momentum to struggle uh, for racist injustice a freedom from oppression that one incident uh, has unleashed pent up anger against injustice and discrimination and shaken not only america but also other countries uh, with growing sport this movement is a uh, and becoming stronger and will have far-reaching political implications. In fact, it can provide impetus uh, to write a movement across the globe. The writer is an author and journalist. Please like and subscribe to get daily updates. Thank you.